time, I, I started um, mediating two years ago because I saw another gap in w working with people, at, you know, as I was helping coach them through the process and help them prepare for mediation, they weren't being prepared for mediation. And so I started to get curious about mediation um, as, a, as a way to divorce because I was a big fan at the time of collaborative law and I still am. I, and I see mediation as perhaps even a better way, especially if you have children, because you are going to have to maintain a relationship, lifelong relationship with that person. And so there are some things in mediation that there's subtleties um, of repairing a relationship. I'm not saying that it's all done in one, I mean, you know, as a mediator, not, I'm not saying that, you know, there's a magic wand going on, but there are seeds of, of relationship repair that can happen when two people are listening to each other's side of the story um, and being heard, you know, being heard and then, and then coming to an agreement that they both participated in and it wasn't just lawyers talking to each other. Yeah, it, takes, it takes a while to be prepared for mediation because you are, you're basically coming to the table and negotiating and coming to an agreement that is going to impact the next chapter of your life Right. This is not um, a, a, a simple exercise. You you need to prepare your. Uh, I do have a checklist, and I think I, I shared that with you, and and we'll we'll share this with the audience. But I have a couple uh, different segments of the checklist. One is money. You've got to know what your assets and your debts, and your retirement accounts, and how you how you propose to divide those up. You got to know that for yourself.